The Old Testament is full of incredible tales, stories of miracles, divine intervention and prophetic visions. Among these prophets, Ezekiel stands out. He was a man chosen by God to deliver his message to the Israelites. His words were powerful, his imagery vivid and his visions unforgettable. Ezekiel lived during a turbulent time. The Israelites were in exile in Babylon. Their faith was shaken, they needed hope. It was in this context that Ezekiel received a vision, a vision so extraordinary that it continues to spark debate and wonder even today. Could this vision be more than just a spiritual allegory? Could it be a record of an actual event, a close encounter with beings not of this world? These are the questions that have captivated scholars, theologians, and even scientists for centuries. And as we delve deeper into Ezekiel's account, we might find ourselves questioning everything we thought we knew about our past. Ezekiel describes his experience with awe and trepidation. He speaks of a whirlwind, a great cloud, and a fire enfolding itself. And then he sees it, a chariot of unearthly design descending from the heavens. What Ezekiel witnessed was like nothing anyone had ever seen before. They were wheels within wheels, moving independently and with incredible agility. He calls them living creatures. These beings were extraordinary, each with four faces and four wings. The sheer strangeness of Ezekiel's vision is what makes it so compelling. Some believe Ezekiel might have been describing something truly extraordinary, something we might today call a UFO. In the 20th century, a new way of thinking about ancient texts emerged. Erich von Däniken, a Swiss author, became a controversial figure with his book Chariots of the Gods. Von Däniken proposed a radical idea, what if ancient myths and religious texts weren't just stories, but actual historical accounts of alien visitations. Von Däniken saw in Ezekiel's vision evidence of advanced technology, the wheels within wheels, the descriptions of fire and smoke, the strange creatures, to von Deniken. These were all hallmarks of a sophisticated spacecraft and its alien pilots. His theory was met with skepticism from mainstream academics, but it resonated with many who felt that traditional explanations of the past were incomplete. Von Daniken's work opened up a whole new avenue of inquiry. Suddenly, ancient texts weren't just religious documents, they were potential historical records waiting to be decoded. And while many dismissed his theories as outlandish, there were some, like NASA scientist Joseph Blumrich, who saw something more in Ezekiel's vision, something that couldn't be so easily dismissed. Joseph Blumrich, an Austrian-born engineer who worked for NASA, was initially dismissive of von Däniken's claims. Blumrich prided himself on his scientific rigour. He believed that any extraordinary claim required extraordinary evidence. So he set out to disprove von Däniken, to show that Ezekiel's vision was nothing more than religious allegory. But as Blumrich delved deeper into Ezekiel's descriptions, he encountered something unexpected. The more he tried to reconcile the prophet's words with conventional explanations, the more he realized that those explanations fell short. The details were too specific, too technical, too familiar. Blumrich's attempt to debunk von Däniken took an unexpected turn. He became convinced that Ezekiel's vision couldn't be dismissed as mere fantasy. The prophet wasn't describing a chariot pulled by horses. He was describing something far more advanced. Something that, to Blumrich's trained eye, looked remarkably like a spacecraft. Blumrich's skepticism gave way to fascination. He dedicated years of his life to analyzing Ezekiel's descriptions from an engineering perspective. The result was his groundbreaking book, The Spaceships of Ezekiel, in it, Blumrich meticulously reconstructed the chariot using Ezekiel's 
words as his blueprint. Blumrich's analysis went beyond mere speculation. He applied his engineering knowledge to decipher the mechanics of the wheels within wheels, proposing a design for an omnidirectional wheel that was so innovative it earned him a US patent. He argued that the beings Ezekiel described weren't angels, but astronauts, clad in protective gear. Blumrich's work was a turning point. Here was a respected scientist, a NASA engineer, saying that Ezekiel's vision might actually describe an encounter with extraterrestrial technology. And although I am a huge skeptic of NASA and believe they play a huge role in keeping humanity from the truth, it is the fact that Blumrich faced personal scrutiny that encouraged me to explore his research more. This research lent a new level of credibility to the ancient astronaut theory, pushing it further into the realm of serious scientific consideration. One of the most intriguing details in Ezekiel's account is the description of the chariot's landing. Ezekiel states that the chariot landed gently on the earth, its motion seemingly unaffected by gravity. This detail, easily overlooked, takes on a new significance when viewed through the lens of modern aerospace technology. We know that spacecraft, upon re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere, experience extreme heat and pressure. Landing such a craft safely requires sophisticated heat shields and deceleration systems. Could Ezekiel have been describing a similar process, albeit in the language of his time? The parallels are striking. The controlled descent, the absence of a crash or impact, the suggestion of technology at work all point towards a more advanced understanding of flight than what was supposedly available in Ezekiel's time. Could this be further evidence that the prophet witnessed something truly extraordinary? something that defied the technological capabilities of his era. Ezekiel's account of the living creatures is perhaps the most bizarre and challenging aspect of his vision. He describes them as having four faces, a man, a lion, an ox and an eagle. They possess four wings and their movements are described as swift and precise. Traditional interpretations see these creatures as angelic beings messengers of God. But could there be another explanation? Von Däniken and others proposed that these creatures were in fact extraterrestrial beings clad in advanced suits or bio-engineered exoskeletons. The multiple faces could represent different functions of their suits while their wings could be a form of advanced flight technology. While this interpretation might seem far-fetched at first glance, it's important to remember that our understanding of extraterrestrial life is purely speculative. If advanced alien species do exist, their appearance and technology could be vastly different from anything we can currently imagine. Could Ezekiel's living creatures be a glimpse into this unknown realm? Ezekiel's vision is not an isolated incident. Around the world, ancient cultures have passed down stories of gods descending from the heavens in fiery chariots. These stories, often dismissed as myths, take on a new meaning when viewed through the lens of the ancient astronaut theory. From the Vimanas of ancient India to the flying shields of the Vikings, from the Egyptian god Horus and his winged disc to the feathered serpent god Quetzalcoatl of Mesoamerica, the motif of celestial beings arriving on Earth is remarkably consistent across cultures and continents. Could these stories, passed down through generations, be more than just myth? Could they be echoes of actual historical events, memories of a time when advanced beings from the stars walked among us? While mainstream science often shies away from such interpretations, the sheer volume and consistency of these accounts across cultures and time periods demand further investigation. The debate surrounding Ezekiel's vision continues to this day. Was it a divine revelation or a close encounter with beings from another world? 
There are no easy answers. The evidence is open to interpretation. Skeptics argue it was influenced by ancient beliefs. Could the line between the divine and extraterrestrial be blurred? Ezekiel's vision continues to fascinate and inspire. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on the Stellify channel. Could it be that scripture is more than just allegory and astro theology? Could we also be reading about actual historical truths? Or do you think this is all just fantasy? I would love to hear your thoughts. Please do leave a comment below. I would also appreciate if you would like, share and subscribe to the channel if you have enjoyed this video. This helps inspire me to make more videos and there is so much more to discuss.